unlucky bounce there for Dylan. The ball stands out. Interesting to note, Tyro's here on the left, Dylan on the right. Dylan, one of the best right siders in men's in mixed. Carlos, why do you think they've put Tyra on the left? Uh, you know, she's, you know, definitely can create a lot of offense. And I feel like Dylan is, like you said, arguably one of the best right-sided players. So I feel like he, maybe that's just a better matchup for them. Um, and, D I mean, D Dylan's just so good that he can he can create, uh, you know, great pickleball from, from either side. So... Um, wouldn't be surprised if we see them switch if it's not working, but um, I think they know what they're doing. Wow, nifty play there from Julian from start to finish. A great dig by Tyra there. It was impressive. Julian's drive, sneaky powerful, uses, usually uses unweighted paddles, just creates so much pressure with both the power and the dipping S speed there. Wow. Oh. There you go. Andiamo count at one. I was wondering what the over-under was for Andiamo's this, this match. Good cover there by Tyra. Julian trying to attack up the line. Interesting to note, Dylan and Tyra not unwinding the stack there. Dylan staying on the left. He'll do so again on this point. That return sails into the net, so small lead here for Julian and Lauren. And that sails out, so uncharacteristic unforced there on the volley. Just missing wide there. Julian appealing to the refs. We'll Get see here on the replay. Uh, I think it was wide. I like the move though. Nice transition game there from Tyra, earning him that point. Down by one here. Good pressure there from Julian, not letting any of those resets to fall. Forehand put away, down and away. So earns them the side out. Don Stanley roaming in a red hat, making some slight adjustments. there for Julian and Lauren. Aggressive drive sails into the net, so side out for Dylan and Tyra. Tyra still on the left. According to my co-commentator here, Carlos, that net cord was purely lucky. Nothing skillful about it. Well, I mean, 
I would say that was fortunate. Fortunate. Lucky. I would say lucky if, if you go for the the wrong shot and you know and and you clip the net to your favor. But a, a true man of nuance. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Wow, oh, great okay. defense wow. from Tyre and Dylan to earn, to keep that point going, but Julian being ultra aggressive, taking court at the forehand. Just sailing long there. Good example there from Dylan of your drive does not have to be the most powerful, but as long as it's dipping down and below that net, it creates an incredible amount of pressure. Good rip there. We've been blessed to see both Julian and Thomas Wilson here on Grandstand with their lively forehands. Maybe a bit of an overplay there with the forehand drive. Nice for Dylan to keep him honest, having to get back to that backhand corner. Dylan all over that one. Dylan's hand so quick and with a let it up double O two, all he has to do is meet it at the right point of contact and that comes back onto you quite fast. Another ultra aggressive forehand. Not only hit hard, but hit at a great angle. Fast feet, Frazier couldn't even get to that. So, good side out there for Lauren and Julian. aggressive Arnold Dylan doing a good job to set up that point by returning to Julian's backhand not allowing that forehand drive pressure at all so good defensive stand overall Couple errors from Julian. Uh, he's trying to be aggressive, but sometimes you got to find that happy medium of what's what's too much. Good setup there by Lauren, targeting Tyra's backhand, who brings it to the middle where Julian's sitting with a lot of expectations of where that ball is coming. Okay, drive pressure leads to an unforced block out. 8-7-2, our third lead change of the game. All right, so that's gonna be a timeout. Tyron Dillon. Up 9-7 here on a small run, trying to close out game one in this round of 16. Great adjustment by Julian there, midair, to get out of the way of his forehand to create some pressure. Earns the side out.
good stuff from Julian there. Very good stuff. On the ammo count now at two. Actually four. Four? Four, yeah. Four. Some of them have been louder than others, but I, I believe it's four. <laughs> Lauren hitting an out ball there, but a good hands battle leads them to a point to tie it all up. Oh. Just out there off the tape. They do unwind the stack this time. Ooh, good defense there from Lauren. But Dylan showing us all what you can do if you've never played tennis. Almost felt like a bait ball from Tyra. Yeah. She she wanted to scorp bit. that on the on the one two. I like it. Lauren certainly aggressive with that forehand reaching. Yeah, Julian is everywhere right now. I mean, he's uh, when he's on, he looks like a slightly possessed madman, <laughs> but in a sure. but in a great talented way. Good pressure there from Tyra with the backhand, keeping Julian honest. Sorry, sorry. Julian crashing with that backhand punch, hits the net. Tyra's okay, but does earn them a point. And a game point is now on the paddle of Lawrence Stratman. Very important side out there, obviously, for, for Dylan and Tyra. They'll try to battle back. No! Oh, Tyra big there in the middle, just missing a bit wide. But love the play. Dylan's drive has been on point this game. That's pro mixed doubles for everyone watching. That is the, the quality of play that right here, right here. you need to bring almost every point to make it through these rounds now. Wow, that was a great drop from Julian. Lauren couldn't quite convert there, but I like that from Julian. He he's missed a couple of drives uh, after having success, but now he uh, I think that was good shot selection there to go for that one. Athletic backhand forehand switching combo there from Tyra. So they get it back. They're still fighting here in game one. He gets great extension on the backhand punch. Yeah. All over it. All over it. Almost as many Andiamos as they have points. 
<laughs> that sets them up for game point here. We've had three side outs. This is their, I believe, their seventh chance at closing out game one. Another drop. Okay, good defense. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tyra can produce so much power. Um, Even her cut volleys feel yeah. like a punch. Yep. Dylan with the wristy reach and flick, a beautiful battle. Game one here. And that roll sails into the net. So failure to convert on six game points gives Tyra and Dylan a chance What a move. <laughs> She'd been, I feel like Tyra's beaten her on that side a couple times, but that was a good, good anticipation from, from Lauren. Oh, and that's a gift there from Dylan. Lauren had a gift to potentially close out game one and, and miss. Dylan dumps that in the net. So 10-10 battle here. Julian again choosing the drop to allow his team to get into the kitchen. Applies good pressure there. Now they do have another game point. Tyra saying, get out of my way, Dylan. Great forehand crunch there. So eighth game point here for Julian and Lauren. And goes back to the drive. Dylan, uncharacteristic miss there. So game one goes to Lauren and Julian, 12-10. At Pickleball Central, we're all about you. Your pickleball journey. We've got the largest selection of paddles, nets, shoes, balls, accessories, and more. The lowest prices guaranteed. Find it cheaper somewhere else. We'll match it. Don't love it? Send it back. Our world-class customer service. We'll take care of you. Plus, every dollar you spend earns you discounts on future orders. For all your pickleball needs, trust the experts. The experts. We're here for you. Pickleball Central. Narrowly lost the first one. Great overhead there by Tyra. One of the more powerful overheads we have from the woman here on tour. Good leave there by Dylan. So a little, little jumpy from the start, but Julian's game is obviously ultra aggressive and mixed. Just needs to find that balance. That's the second missed serve from Tyra in this match. Uncharacteristic unforced that really does penalize you when the margins are so slim. She was on it. Clip it. 
That's what this yep. generation would say, clip it. An amazing what battle between point. both teams. Initial scrambling defense from Julian and Lauren set themselves up for, for five hands battles. Ooh, ball lands just out, but good. What seemed to be like a block turned into a, a backhand punch cut there from Julian, keeping Dylan honest, trying to challenge him up the line. Mm. Tough ball to take. Yep. Tough ball to take from below the net in the transition area. So side out. Good finish there from Tyra. I've been very impressed ma all match long with Tyra's backhand dinks cross court. Yep. Really making Julian, who's got good lateral movement, work. For sure. Third shot just a bit wide. Tyra continuing to be on the left. They sometimes do unwind that when they're on the returning side. Carlos, can you tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here at the defensive resets? They seem to be quite high, almost lobbish. Yeah. What's the, what's the strategy there? I mean, uh, th those are pretty deep shots from, from Julian there, but um, now Dylan and Tyra are against the wind, so it kind of gives you a little more freedom to swing freely and, and, and know that, you know, uh, that, that lob won't go deep. But sometimes, especially with conditions like this, for Dylan and Frazier who lost game one but are on a roll. Good put away there from Lauren, but nice little bit of momentum there for Dylan and Tyra. More often than not, able to get to the kitchen uh, doing a great job of, of playing points out there. See if they can withstand Julian and Lauren's aggressiveness. Yeah, that was Good. a great transition there from, from Julian. Yeah, any chance he gets to a great offense, he'll, he'll take it. Good. Good volley there from Dylan, getting that ball down at the feet of Julian, who is creeping in through the transition. That's all That's Lauren great. Stratman. Yeah, that was a great play there. Great combo to set up her left side partner for the finish. Oh. Okay, short burst of energy there. Dylan and Ty are still at the lead. job there from Tyra Black. Wow. No Andiamo there. Very yeah. surprising. 
Yeah, that's that's an Andy Emma worth. For worth sure. There. I mean, if that's not on Andy Emma worth, I don't know what is. But beautiful play. Lauren going for Tyra's forehand. She's doing a good job of sliding, really kind of get that back on a line. Like to see her try to keep her honest up the line a little bit. Could be even a little off speed. Quick side out, forced there. Good pressure from Julian. The chat also mysteriously wondering why there was no Andiama on that previous play, but we're gonna yeah. we're gonna move on, move on from that. start with that point right there. Yeah. Making Julian really move left, cover that backhand on some dinks and volleys. Nice. Good hold there. Going right down Dylan's line. Why is it so important to sometimes hold some those balls? Well, it just gives you more options. Like, right, if, if, if you're good at holding the ball um, and, and, and you've shown that you have variety on, on, on w w whether it's your forehand or backhand, just gives you more options to go. And you can almost wait till the last second to see where their body weight's going and then go the opposite way. So, um, and, and Jillian's one of the best at that. He really does it from both sides. Can pick a few spots with it. Can see you leaning, see you cheating. Well, as noted prior, Tyra, Tyra's backhand just keeping Julian honest cross court. The lob lands in. Quick replay here of Dylan's down the line. Does seem to be out. Julian, a highly energetic, highly vocal person, but an honest, honest player, especially when it comes to line calls or, or great shots even against him. Tough. Level of difficulty, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Tyra's sitting in there with a powerful forehand. But again, we're commentating. They're playing. <laughs> yeah, okay. she, she, she's really trying to work him to the left. Because um, Julian's just looking for that first ball in the middle that he can he can create offense with. But um, yeah, this is this is such a tight match. goodness that is how quickly defense can turn into offense one beautiful reset and an athletic partner yeah so so impressive from Tyra there going from like you know hitting hard to then soften up the hands and being able to transition up to the kitchen line that's uh that's not an easy thing to do And timeout taken by Lauren and Julian. The official ball of the PPA Tour. be 
862 on Tyra's Tyra's paddle. That's a clip for Sandiamo, game two, but incredible defense there from Dylan and Tyre, just making them hit one more about six times, but big side out for Lauren and Julian. Oh, that's a nice ball from Tyra there. It's made it look a lot easier than it is. Ooh, good up, good setup there by Lauren. Certainly not expecting to win that, but Julian sitting forehand. That's they'll take that all day to have that look. That lob just not high enough in the defensive orientation. So good put away there by Julian. An unweighted paddle tech there. Classical lively arm. An untimely, uncharacteristic return of serve error. So three point lead here for Tyra and Dylan. Looked good. Looked like a ball to attack for sure, right, yeah, Carlos? Yeah, for sure. Just sometimes can be slightly wrong spot or the counter is just a bit better. And in that case, I believe that was that was it. It's surprising to see not Tyra not necessarily cheating over a little bit there with her kind of footwork and positioning. Julian hasn't gone hard cross court behind her. And she, well, wow. sh shut up, Ryan. She's there at the <laughs> forehand that time. <laughs> Okay, it's working off for Julian with that backhand roll in the middle. Wow, Tyra going toe to toe with the pressure of Julian Arnold. Earns that side out for them. Looking to close out game two. Have two chances to do it. Aggressive play early in the point there. Yeah, I, I don't hate that yeah. idea. Just didn't execute it, but. And the hat comes off there for the gift that Julian just gave Dylan and Tyra. So that looking to start out on a run.
Wow. What a first point. Maybe 40 hits here. Looked like a championship Sunday men's doubles <laughs> final. Yeah. Uh, no, that, was lot a, that was a great first point. Setting the tone for what this very tight match has been. Tyra there ready for Julian. He's been no stranger to the to the backhand flick through the middle. Probably is 50% on that, but didn't work out that time. Beautiful pressure there from Julian's forehand. Just the, the wristy flicks, creating topspin, getting that back and down at their feet. Dylan Tyre so athletic, so mobile, but not even able to budge up towards the kitchen there. A few wow. overhead gifts here. Yep. Not the first time we've seen a uh, shoulder high ball dumped into the net. That's a lot of power from Tyra there. Also change up the spot. She has been cutting kind of cross court with that to Julian. Mm -hmm. Hitting that to Lauren's back end that time. A muted Julian post point, but beautiful, beautiful pressure. If you're looking to play left, that's ideally what you'd want to be able to do more often than not. There we go. Back to back. Clip it. Forehand roll ready with a backhand put away from high to low. Quick early lead here for Julian and Lauren. Okay, side out force there from Dylan and Tyra. Tyra is still on the left, has predominantly played there. Doing a great job of getting to that kitchen. So quick on that, on the, on the forehand speed up. Yep. It's really hard to see coming. It's just, and even if you get it back, he's sitting there ready. If I'm Julian and Lauren, I love middle dinks right now to Dylan and Tyra. And if I'm Dylan and Tyra, I'm not putting, if I can, I'm not putting the ball to Julian's forehand right now. There we go. That's the pattern. In classic commentator fashion in game three. We figured <laughs> we figured it out once we saw they did it. Yeah. No, but I think here I'm um, I'm looking for Julian to keep trying to take over the court. He's done a great job here. Any chance he gets, he's all over it. Good setup there by Lauren. Reminds me of when the tackles and the guards make a huge hole for someone to run it in from the two yard line. The running backs pumps their chest, but needs to really acknowledge what came before them. For sure. <laughs> Lauren there going for the fifth shot drive. Always sounds like a good idea until you miss it in the net. Julian just making it look easy. I think Tyra, yeah, it's a oh, ball on. I think Tyra's got the, the countering and ability and the power. If Lauren wants to take a high baitish ball out of the air, I think that's probably an optimal strategy right now rather than trying to fend off Julian's backhand roll or, or forehand flick. But they're on the board, 1-4-2. Here in game three. Mm. 
Oh, I think Tyra may have been thrown off by yeah, Lauren's an out, out call. Out call. Unfortunate timing there. So they're on the board. 1 4. There we go. Great exchange there from both teams. Tire contributing a majority of those counters, but nice put away there from Dylan. So important stand here for them. And they get it. So one four one back to Dylan and Tyra. Tyra on the left for the majority of this game. Julian opting for the bounce call as opposed to out. I like it. Very clear. Great pressure there. It's just hard to drop on him with this wind. If very and, hard. And the balls he's sending back to you, it's yeah. just hard to get that ball down to even advance at all. But point there from the pressure from Dylan. Ref sees that out, confirms Dylan's out call. So, mini run being created here. Cut short by a drive into the net. Join Lauren. Up by one, haven't scored in their last two side outs. Important that they get off to a good start here. stuff there. Julian opting to go to Dylan on that backhand flick to start that battle as opposed to a little bit more center where Tyra's forehand has been covering it decently well. They'll unwind the stack here. Wow. wow. I thought that cross court attack was yeah. going to punish him instead yeah. it turns into a point. Julian running about eight feet to do that. Catches of sides here on grandstand. Julian Lauren with the 6-3 lead. Ferocious hands battles happening here. Two on force back to back there. Not how you draw it up, but still certainly within play. Great put away there from Tyra. Nearly hitting the corner of the kitchen. Beautiful down and away on a tight angle. Not the spot that time. Uh, Tyra covering with her forehand. So side out force f by them. Let's see if they can work their way up. Julian's been doing a great job of keeping them back. Let's see if they can get up and start firing away. All right, Lauren goes back to the same spot there early in the point. Gets away with it. Good slide and crunch there by Julian. So 
of two opportunities to try to creep towards 11 and close this match out. A uh, bit unlucky there. Tough to get. June will have the serve. Good pressure there, forcing the side out. So, bit of a stalemate here in the last few minutes. Good compact drive from Dylan. A little bit of core, but a lot of wrist, and then ensuing footwork just creates a lot of pressure. There we go, Dylan Frazier drive. Brings them within three. And another error there. Momentum can swing so quickly here. And we're back here. Hey, patience feeling out of each other there earns the pop up and put away. But good run there by Tyron Dillon to, to, to put the fight on. Certainly anybody's game still. Catches Julian in the corner a little bit. This is the grandstand court. But remember to, if you want to tune in for the championship court, go to pickleballtv.com. up a little bit high for Tyra's power. I think Lauren there would argue that she was on it, but had a lot of power. Too much to handle, so side out, 6-8. Another unforced there, so that brings them to within one. Previously down, 8-3. Done a great job of making balls. Good pressure at the net. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren saying, let's go. She knows how big of a, of a side out and defensive stop this can be right now. Return sails in the net. So we're all tied up here in game three. seemingly coming back onto this their own side so we're back with a side out learn Julian stuck at eight let's see if they can punch through that oh they're Julian trying to create pressure but might have tricked Lauren out of that uh, shot there. Oh, wow. Nifty, nifty reach in there from Tyra. Forces a side out, so no points for Julian and Lauren at 8-8. We're here in game three battling. Whoever 
wins this and pulls it out is advancing to take on Vivian David and Thomas Wilson. Oh my goodness. trying to stay patient with some controlled offense there from the kitchen line keeping them back unbelievable foot speed from Dylan but not able to convert on that last one I like it I think it definitely was there to punch just left it a little higher went for a little too much so okay I think this is ninth time at eight Lauren Julian trying to trying to break through Quite a big crowd here, probably four or five rows deep on either side. Tyra ready with that forehand in the middle. Lauren doing a great job of keeping Dylan honest with some very pressure filled cross court dinks, yeah. but again, they can't do it. So back on Dylan's paddle. Good drives, but met with, with Julian's blocks. Tyra has a chance to get them to nine. What a shot from Lauren there. That's a clean winner down the line. Froze Tyra a little bit, held it as held Carlos, it. Coach Carlos was describing earlier in the match, the power of holding that ball and making a decision at the last second. Tyra not sure what to do getting out of the way, but also hitting that. Credit to her, credit is due though. Julian bringing that pressure here to get them to nine. Been a long time coming. Let's see if they can use that to their advantage. Okay, match point, match point here for Julian and Lauren. We'll have one more opportunity to put this one away. turning defense into offense. They squeak it out. So Julian Arnold and Lauren Trevin take game three, 11-8. They'll be advancing 